Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. I saw in my channel statistics that my Cloudbuster build slideshow is one of the most clicked videos. So I thought about another video focusing on the details. If you are interested in the build video too, I put the link in the description. So this is just a resume video about the things I did to the kit beside the stock version. This is gonna be a quick video because the car is mostly built in stock. And the other thing is that in Europe many upgrades are not available, like in the US for example. So for my first build I wanted to get the Claude on the tracks as soon as possible and not wait for the parts. So let's begin with my summary. The first thing you need is a set of ball bearings, like on the majority of the Tamir cars. My dealer has a complete set of it and they are now built into the gears, so I cannot show you them in the video. The next thing and many times asked are the all felt shocks. These are aftermarket upgrades for the Traxxas X-Max or E-Max. Unfortunately they are not longer available, but if you want to remove the original pogo sticks you only need to know the size. It's 110 millimeters from the middle of the eyes of the shocks. And out of my experience I would say even one oil damper at each wheel might be enough, but this is up to each driver. The next thing is the sound module. There's enough space in the chassis for it, so no big deal to put it in. And the next modification on my list is this iridescent color. It's an automotive one, it's relatively cheap compared to Tamiya rattle cans. For the spring you need minimum three cans. The effect primer, the effect color and the clear coat. But I put a normal primer onto the body first, then the effect primer. After it, it comes the effect color and then the stickers. The clear coat sees everything at the end. Please keep in mind that after each step the sprayed color had to be checked for mistakes, which then had to be removed. And as a final update I added these chrome suspension arms from the bullhead kit. So I have a customized design for it. My dealer had the spare part tree separate uh, for buying and I think they look much better than the stock blue ones. Also on the chrome tree are the body mounts for the Clawbuster. Now it's time to talk about the upgrades I hadn't done and uh, are planned for the next car. I didn't upgrade the steering. I know the original is terrible. A big turning radius and the wheels don't move when the car isn't running. But as soon as the car is in motion, it works very good. I also didn't upgrade the motors. You need non-timed motors, which are hard to find here. Many of the motors with a lower number of turns than the 540s are timed to get some more rounds per minute out of them. And if you find a motor, you'll also have to change the ESC. You need one for two motors. Hobby Wang has one, but I had to solder my battery plug onto it. And this is not the work I'm used to do. But for now Tamiya is changing the ESCs towards the Hobby Wings. I have the hope of getting one with the Tamiya plug. Not from Hobby Wing, but from Tamiya as a spare part. It might cost a little bit more, but as long as I don't have to solder, I'm fine. I'm just planning another Cloudbuster, but in this case I'll go the long way. All the parts over the pond and wait a month or more to the arrive. Pay the customs fee and might have a better steering and faster car. And I have some other ideas for it too, but we'll see. It depends on the availability of the car and the parts. I thank you for watching. If you got some questions, please write it down in the comments. See you soon on RC Birds.